As an intro to keyboards, I'm going to show you um, a few quick shortcuts and the difference between the keyboard shortcuts and the others. You can do the same things by right clicking that you can get. Sometimes you'll get things to, to pop up that you get um, by going and doing some of the shortcuts. For example, we want to go to the task manager, but suppose we have a problem. The screen is real slow, we're having trouble and we think it's going to lock up and the mouse has stopped you can hold your alt key and your tab down and move from page to page by doing that the alt key of course is here on each side of the keyboard and you see that there's a window key on this side it's a window key and on this side it's a shortcut key if you see it like this you may only have one you may not have them on each side. You may just have over here the window key and here the shortcut key. Um, nevertheless, here's what the shortcut key does. It brings, if you're in a menu, it brings up the shortcut, or it brings up the uh, shortcut key, brings up the right, same as the right click. If I right click, I get the same thing if I do the shortcut key. And it's basically what a lot of these are in the menus. Um, so when you're looking at the keyboard chart and it says the window key, it means the one between control and alt with the windows little flag on it. So now back to what we were saying. If you're over here and, for example, you get stuck, um, if you hit your tab key, you'll notice eventually that something will come up. Once you get something to pop up and you can see where you're at, something highlights and lights up, and you find that, get it to come back up, you can use your arrow keys. You see how the arrow keys are moving? Down here. And so if we want to go control escape, we can get over here and then we can use the arrow key and we can come over here to the right and then come down and go to the right again. When you see these arrows listed somewhere, if you want to get the side menu, the pull out to come out, what you do is you get to that, let's get back over here to it. You get over to that and you click the right menu and it brings this up. So what we can do if it's stuck and we're having a problem is we can hit control escape, brings up the menu, Use the arrows to get the shutdown, use the arrows to get to restart, and then hit enter and it'll restart the computer. And we can try to go into safe mode or do whatever we do. Uh, if you have some idea what you need to do uh, to restart or restore your computer if you're having a problem. So those are things you can do with your tab and your arrow keys that we may talk about more in another video, but you can use the keyboard shortcut to bring up the areas. If your mouse is dying, those are two things you have. You have keyboard shortcuts and the buttons on the keyboard for navigation. So now that was control escape, brings that up, gets rid of it. When you're inside a program, the escape key, if you click inside of it, the escape key should get rid of it. It's not in any event, who cares? So. Uh, another one would be Control Alt Delete. Now we lost the viewer. So if you hit Control Alt Delete, it's going to bring this screen up. If I tried to do it during the video, it's going to kill the video. So I'm going to show you a picture. Suppose I need to go to the Task Manager. I showed you that you can do it if your mouse is working by right clicking the taskbar at the bottom. If you don't have that option and you want to try to get in there, to work on a program that's a problem. You simply go in here and click Start Task Manager.